come to the attention of the national leadership of the party that the Ogun State chapter of the Labour Party has perpetually suspend one of the leader, one of the party me, uh, member who happens to be the Director General of the Presidential Campaign Council. The Ogun State Chapter has acted outside its constitutional jurisdiction. The party has internal conflict uh, resolution mechanism of handling cases against party members as enshrined in the party's constitution. Therefore, the suspension of Dr. Doyen Okupe from the party by the Ogun State Chapter is null and void. He, is, he still remains a card carrying member of the Labour Party and the Director General of the Presidential Campaign Council. The party is solidly united and are behind its leadership and the leadership of the Presidential Campaign Council. We are also not unaware of attempts by our opposition in some political parties to infiltrate the party structure at all levels. Since it has become obvious that the chances of the Labour Party's candidates emerging victorious in the upcoming general election is becoming brighter day by day. The party leadership will do everything within its powers to ensure that our cohesion is not tempered with and will not be distracted by the antics of the opposition, about, by, of the opposition candidate until all our candidate becomes victorious in the 2023 general election, inshallah. We have also noticed with concern the recent attacks on our party members, candidates, and officials in some states, particularly Edo State, Ebonyi, and Kaduna State, where one of our local government women leader was grossly murdered. We call on the oppositions, particularly the state governors, to restrain their talks and security agencies to be more vigilant and carry out their constitutional responsibility in protecting lives and property of the citizen. We hope that the government will act promptly. We have heard what the National uh, Security Advisor publicly uh, inducted the state government of releasing their talks to carry out mayhem on the political on the political structures and on the opponents. We have observed in a Bonny State, one of our candidates was uh, apprehended, locked off, and in Edo State, our posters, billboards have been staggered, have been vandalized, which is, we put it, as a result of the action of the state government. And in Kaduna State, we've lost in the hand of the assassin, our woman leader, who has about nine children. The party visited them, and we have uh, sympathized with them. The husband is hospitalized. He has about three gunshots, and he's uh, lying in the hospital. So you can see how the atmosphere of the uh, polity is being heated. And uh, we hope it is not a prelude. It is not going to be a signal of what is going to happen during the election. We are afraid, and we are, we are commending the government for coming out to issue a statement and coming out from the uh, National Security Advisor. This shows that there is a commitment by the government to ensure that there is going to be free and fair election. So we want to call on them with a strong uh, words that they should uh, uh, ensure 
and uh, security agencies should step off their action to ensure that they fish out the perpetrators of this violence. You can see and agree with us that the uh, campaign council of the Peter Obi presidential uh, aspiration has been carrying out our activities, you know, uh, uh, silently, peacefully, and obediently. We have never had any issue. We have never had anything to do with opposition. We are doing a issue-based campaign. We are not violent. We have never been inducted. None of our uh, members or our campaign uh, uh, rallies have ever witnessed any violence on anyone. So we therefore call on the security agencies to uh, make sure that uh, they provide security and adequate security to our candidates and the party official and also to ensure that they bring to book whoever violates the law of the land. I've noticed with uh, concern the violation of the peace accord. The other candidates and other political, other political parties are showing uh, apparent this uh, 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 you know, violation of the peace accord that I've signed. So, and uh, you can see we, we are calling on the uh, uh, eminent uh, person uh, to come out and speak and also talk to those candidates that yes, they are violating the peace accord. We remain resolute, we remain loyal, and we remain committed to the peace accord and to, to ensure that uh, the 2023 general election is peace and uh, uh, violence free. Thank you.